everyone. Welcome to Northern Zen Yoga. I'm Sandra Taylor, and I'm your yoga instructor. Today we're going to look at getting ourselves moving. So we're going to work on all of the joints. And all of this class is going to be is basically about just getting movement going to all of the major joints and some of the minor joints in our body, helping to get those fluids moving and helping to get things back to a more supple nature. So we're going to begin first, though, by sitting in Sukhasana. And remember, I was telling you last time that Sukhasana can be what Sukhasana looks like for you. If you have to have your knees up high and you need comfort under here, you can shove some blankets or pillow or block on either side to help relax your knees onto. If you need to stick your legs out further to help make you feel more comfortable in this posture, go ahead and do it. Because one of the major rules of yoga is that we don't hurt ourselves. This is a very important lesson to take seriously because moving your body in a way that is painful means that you may be damaging it. So keep that in mind. You can feel an achy stretch, that's okay. But if you're feeling sharp, sudden pain in any area, you must back off immediately and find a more comfortable place to be. So get yourself comfortable in Sukhasana and we're going to sit for a few minutes and we're going to breathe. I like to use a little bit of a, a cushion when I'm sitting in Sukhasana for a period of time. And that's because this helps me to allow my legs to relax down a little deeper than they can if I'm sitting flat on the carpet. So take a few breaths here. Another feature of yoga is called pranayama. Pranayama is breathing techniques and there's many of them. But today we're going to practice the most basic breathing technique and that's belly breathing. It's the way we should be breathing all the time, but quite often don't. So sitting up nice and straight, let your shoulders relax, let your neck just stretch up a little bit, find a comfy position here. Just watch that you're not trying to hunch up or curl over. Just try to keep yourself nice and relaxed. Let your hands drop into your lap and we're going to focus on the belly as we breathe. So on your inhale, you're going to breathe out, pushing your belly button out. So inhaling, and on the exhale, we're going to push it back in. This is a little bit opposite to what you're used to doing. Most of us breathe in the opposite way. But when we do that, we only get our breath down to about here. So by belly breathing, we're pulling the air right down into the bottom of our lungs, and we're using our diaphragm to move the air in and out. And exercising that diaphragm is very important. So let's inhale, exhale. We should always be breathing in and out through the nose. Unless today you have a really bad cold and then I'll forgive you. But inhale and exhale. Close your eyes, let your body relax as you breathe. Focus on your breath. Feel your body moving in and out as you breathe. And then begin to notice where your body makes contact with the mat or a cushion or a block. And see if you can notice where your clothing touches your skin. Feel the air moving past your nestle, uh, nostrils, sorry. And if you have your eyes closed, let them float open. And now we're going to begin to move. We'll begin with just some arm raises. So let's inhale up as high as we can. Try not to squeeze against your ears. Just lifting up as high as we can. Exhale, bringing the arms down. Inhaling up. And exhaling down. And I like to resist my own movements. This helps to put a little bit of uh, resistance into this exercise. Helps to build your muscles up a little bit. And down. We're going to inhale up. And this time on the exhale, we're going to go over to the right side. And we're going to stretch. And we're going to inhale up. Exhale to the other side. Stretch. We're going to follow our breath now. So inhaling up and exhaling down. 
Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Once more on each side. Exhale down. And inhale up. And exhale down. Coming back up to center. And let's press palms together. Coming into Namaste. Namaste is a wonderful way to say hello. Especially right now with COVID. So keep in mind, even if you're greeting people on the street, you can always go Namaste. Namaste, we're pressing these palms together with a little bit of force and trying to make sure that the palms are completely down. Now you might be here and you're pushing and you're pushing and it's stuck. That's okay. Just keep that pressure going and eventually you'll be here. So we're going to begin with these wrists and we're going to start to move them. So let's just rotate the wrists around. doesn't matter which way you start. Just moving them around in a circle. And try not to go too fast. We don't want anybody making windmills. Let's just go nice and slow. And we're trying to feel the full rotation of our wrists. One more time around. And let's go back the other way, the opposite way now. Might be a little more awkward this way. That's okay. Just keep moving it around. One more time, all the way around. And then we're going to begin to go to the elbows. So we're just going to move the elbows around. You can come in and out. Feeling these elbows moving. One more time. And let's go the opposite direction. Come back to rest. Let's get the shoulders moving. We'll go backward first. In, up, and back. In, up, and back. In, up, and back. And when you're doing this, you might feel some creaks and cracks happening. That's a good thing. One more time. In, up, and back. And now we're going to go the opposite way. We're going to come forward. Let's get some arm movement in here. Really squeeze those shoulders back and up. And down. Squeezing them, squeezing them. One more time, all the way around. And now we're going to move ourselves down to our waistline. So putting your hands on your hips, we're going to start to become circles, just going around, walking on your sit bones. So here you may want to stay on your cushion. Or you can take it away just to make it a little less lumpy as you roll around. So we're going to come back, forward, and try to get bigger circles as you go. So that you're moving around, but try to keep both cheeks on the mat. This is important. We're getting isolated area here. So if you start lifting up your cheek, well, then you're not moving up the waistline too much. So getting our hip action happening here. We're going to come forward and we're going to shift direction going the opposite way. One more time all the way around. And come forward, press into your thighs to lift you back up again, nice and straight. And just sit for a second, feel your body. Feel some tingling happening from here to here. It's a good thing. We're going to focus up into the neck now. So now we're just going to roll our chin forward, roll our head back, and to the side, forward, to the shoulder, back, to the side. And this is very important here that you're not going outside of your comfort zone. So just moving that neck and you'll hear some creaking and some snapping and popping, that's okay. Just relax, don't go too fast, take your time. And as we come down this time, we're gonna go the opposite way, so shifting direction again.
it is relaxed. One more time. All the way around to center. And then gently lift your head up. We're going to take our right hand and we're going to place it just on the side of our head. And we're going to let the weight of our arm bring our head over to the side. Don't pull down. Don't make any force happen. So just relax your hand here. Just let your arm weight do the job. And we're going to stretch out the other arm, stretching it away from us. And just feel the stretch coming up from the shoulder to the ear. If you feel some achiness there, that's okay. But as long as you're not feeling a sharp pain happening, just breathe with it. Your breath is so important as we're doing these exercises because as you breathe, you're sending your stress levels away. Let's turn our chin in toward our armpit, moving our hand a little bit more toward the back of our head, pulling the chin down just with the weight of our arm. And we're going to reach away from us and behind us a little bit. And you'll feel another stretch going up the arm and up the back section of your neck to shoulder. A few deep breaths here and gently release let your head come back up and we're going to switch sides so beginning with the left hand on the side of your head and just let your arm weight pull you down and stretch the other arm away from you big deep breaths i like to do the visualization that as I inhale, I'm sending my breath right to the spot that's achy. And as I exhale, I'm exhaling that achy pain away. We're going to turn our chin again toward the armpit, reaching just toward the back of the head. And we're going to reach a little bit more behind us as we stretch here. Don't yank your head down. Just let your arm weight do the job. Breathe deep breaths. A couple more. And release. We're going to put our fingertips underneath our chin. <clears throat> We're going to push our chin up toward the ceiling very gently. Just so you find that stretch in the front of your neck. Push, 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 push. Breathe, keep breathing. Don't hold your breath ever in yoga. Release. We're going to put our hands, link our fingers together, put our hands behind our head, bring the elbows forward. And now we're going to pull gently, let the weight of our arms pull our chin toward our chest. Remember, we're not actually pulling, we're just letting the weight do the job. You should feel some sensation of stretching down the back of your neck and maybe even into your shoulder blades. And release. Give yourself a little shake, shake your shoulders around. And let's move down the body now. Let's get down toward the legs. So beginning with your right leg. And I apologize for seeing my foot sticking in your face here. So we're going to point our toe out as far as we can, and then we're going to pull it back in. And follow your breath with this. So we're going to inhale the toe up, and we're going to exhale it down. Inhale up, and exhale down. Just back and forth as far as is available for you. So some of you may be more flexible here, and some of you might be able to really stiffen the ankle. So just be patient with yourself. Don't force anything. And we'll stop. And then we're going to rotate whatever direction feels good for you to begin. I'm just going to rotate, trying to push the toe down and trying to pull the foot back. And you're going to feel the leg muscles become active. So you feel your thigh crunch up as you lift your foot and you'll feel it stretch out as you point it. So just become aware of those movements. It's important for us to come to a point of recognizing our body and its actions. 
become connected again with how the body works. And stop and let's go the other way. more times around. And come back to stillness. So we're going to reach now under our thigh. Put your arms under here. And we're going to lift our foot up and start moving at the knee joint. Again, I apologize for the way the video works. You're going to see a big foot in your face. That's And just get that knee working. And the other way. Let's get some juice going in that knee. And stop. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. And you can have your leg extended out of your leg. You can have it tucked in. Whatever feels good. But we're going to pick up this foot now. And we're going to grab the foot. And we're going to start to pull it in toward our face. So you might only be out here. This might be where you're at today. And then you have to find your balance. If you have that cushion or block there, you can always put it there to help keep you balanced up so you're not feeling like you're tipping over. We're going to bring that foot in as close as we can get. And we're going to rock. You can grab underneath your leg if you like. If that feels more supportive. And we're going to rock the baby. Just isolating this hip. So make sure you're moving the hip joint back and forth more than your whole body. I don't want anybody going like this. This is your whole body. We're just moving the hip joint. And then we're going to tuck it in. We're going to give it a nice hug as best we can. And we're going to roll on that hip. Flatten out a bit here. And we're just going to roll on that hip. And you can roll as far as you like. You can put your arm down and really get into that muscle. Get that muscle warmed up. Get some juice in there. And stop. And then we'll just rock the baby a little bit and see if you can get that leg a little bit closer. Micro movements count in yoga. Itty bitty, tiny movements count. And then we're going to stretch the leg out and we're just going to shake it out. And I want you to put your two legs together and I want you to feel how the one you just worked feels next to the other one. Sometimes some people get a very weird sensation of it actually feels longer. Well, probably it is because you've stretched everything out. So we're going to start again, pointing, flexing. Working on the opposite leg now. Point and flex. And we're going around in circles. the other way. Noticing again how our muscles work in our leg as we're working this action. And come to stillness. Let's get up on that knee up off the floor and we'll come in circles again. If you're like me, you're hearing a lot of snap, crackle, and popping. That's the joint getting some fluid in there. And stop. And we'll go back the other way. I noticed I was going a little bit too quickly, so let's just slow it down. And come to stillness. Grabbing this foot. And you may notice this foot comes closer, or maybe it's farther away. And we're just going to hug that in for a second. And we're going to rock this side. 
stretch, stretch. Opening and closing your hip joint. And you may only do little movements like this, and if that's what's happening and you're feeling some stretching, that's a good thing. The stretching sensation is the key. If you're not feeling the stretching sensation, you should probably be pushing it just a little tiny buck more farther. And then we're going to rock on this cheek so you can pull your leg in, hug it in, and we're going to roll on the cheek. I remember the first time I started doing this particular exercise, it used to be excruciating. It used to hurt a lot to roll on that cheek. But now I don't have as much, as a matter of fact, I don't feel too much at all because my muscles now are nice and strong and they're able to handle the weight of my body movement. And we'll stop and we'll just Drop this a little more and see if we can hug her in a little tighter. And relax and stretch that leg out. And stretch both your legs out. And just see how they're feeling. So that's our sequence today on our joint movement. We've got all the joints active. We've got them all moving. So now that we've got our hips all supple and our legs all stretched, Let's try one final stretch just to see where we're going. So let's come into the cobbler pose. I love the cobbler pose because it activates a lot of muscles in your leg and it encourages you to stretch your back muscles, the ones that are attached and wrapped around your glutes and down under and attached to your sit bones. And these ones are the ones that are more supportive muscles that go all the way up your back. And this is where people get a lot of back injury because these become very short and tight when we're sitting a lot. Sitting watching TV, sitting at the job, if we have, if we're in an office job. So we have to get these stretched out and get them moving so that they're very flexible to handle any stress that's put on them. So cobbler pose. Make sure you have a handprint. That you can put your hand down between your body and your heels. That's an important part of it. Feet touch, knees are out to the side. If you want some support, feel free to grab something to put under there. And if you can, open your feet up toward the ceiling. I, watch my knees as I do that. So you see automatically I'm pulling those knees closer to the floor by doing this. And I'm activating some tendons inside the inside area of my thighs. So nice straight back, straight as you can, chin up, take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, we're just going to focus on bringing our belly to the floor. We've got a space there. We've left it. Pushing our elbows into our knees. And if you're way up here and you're doing this and you feel stretching happening in your back and your legs, you're okay. That's fine. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Breathe deeply here. One more deep breath in, lift up just a little bit. And on your exhale, let's see if we can push down just a little deeper and let's have a look at those feet and say hi. Someday I'm gonna put my face there. Inhale, push against your feet or your thighs, come back up, pop your knees up, stretch your legs out, shake them out. And at this point in time, you're welcome to come down onto your mat and take a few moments for Shavasana. But I'm gonna say goodbye to you right now. So let's sit for a second, feel your body, see how it's feeling. Is it feeling more relaxed? If it is, fantastic. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Namaste. Sandra signing out.